The first preseason game at the United Center is still about a month away. Don't step on it. But very important Blackhawks team members. Okay, come over here. We're on the ice today. Come on. Senior ice technician Nick Katsilis. Tip it a little. Good. And his seven-year-old son Jake. Good job. We're at center ice. Okay, fill that spot right there. Preparing the playing surface with a fresh coat of paint. Nice. All right, you want to do the other half? How many times a year do you have to do this? We just do it one time a year. A handful of season ticket holders, VIPs, and this reporter. We're here at Center Ice getting ready to paint the Blackhawks logo. I'm a little nervous, but maybe I just have cold feet. Had a chance to brush up on our hockey. Stay inside the lines, just like kindergarten. The concrete beneath the ice is chilled to 16 degrees, and then the ice on top is a few degrees cooler. Using a specially formulated paint that adheres to the ice, technicians will take 25 gallons and eight different colors to make the lines and the logo for the upcoming season. After it's all done and painted, we'll be here for two to three days, sealing it up nice and slow. You want thin, thin, thin layers because you want to build up that hard density ice that the players like. Then they'll apply a slowly sprayed layer of water that will seal the paint for the season. Your face, gold, you got your blue line, your black, we got orange, green, we got all the colors that are in the logo itself. We mix them all up, get them to that right consistency. It's paint by numbers, we put it down wherever it's got to go, stay in the lines. When it's all done in 48 hours, there will be about an inch and a half of ice on top of the painted surface. And the white part of the ice, that's painted too. That's a powdered white that we use, that we run through a big 10 foot long sprayer and that we actually spray the white on the concrete. And that's to contrast with the puck? That's to contrast with the puck and brighten it up for our lovely TV lights and everything. You got it. Yep. And for Nick and Jake, there's a goal before the puck ever hits the net. Can you paint in between the lines again? Stay in between the lines. Good, that's awesome. At the United Center, Mike Lowe, WGN News.